Hello and welcome to Delightful, Delicious, The Lovely. My name is Christina Lees and today I am going to be making cauliflower gnocchi and an arugula pesto. I'm going to use pecans in this pesto because that's what I have. You can use any kind of nuts you prefer or have around. You could use pistachios, you could use almonds, you could use walnuts, you could use pine nuts. I don't use pine nuts ever because a friend of mine got a thing called pine mouth. Um, you can google it but it's essentially if you eat pine nuts that are at all have exceeded their shelf life. You eat them and within a couple of days all of a sudden everything you put in your mouth tastes like pennies or metal or piney, you know, coppery, metally, everything. Water, chocolate, everything tastes like ass. So my friend had that over Thanksgiving one year. It really bummed me out. So I'm terrified of, uh, of pine nuts now because they say that if they more than a week old or something, you shouldn't eat them. And almost all the pine nuts I've ever seen come from like Thailand. And I can't imagine they got here in less than a week. So I just avoid them. Plus they seem, I don't know, oily. I think they're overused, frankly. So I don't miss them too much. So here, oh, I don't have the top to my fucking thing. I'll be right back. Top. All right. So I have in here about a small handful of fresh basil that I'm going to flip around. I'm going to add, oops. To that I'm going to add, oh, I don't have the fucking olive oil either. Hang on a second. You think I learned to prepare? I'm just really terrible. All right, I'm only gonna go to a quarter cup of olive oil. Um, if I need more liquid than that, I'm gonna go with water. I don't like to add so much oil to my pestos. I typically thin it with water. You can use all olive oil if you want, but I'm starting with that quarter cup. I'm gonna pulse that in there. I'm going to add the garlic now. I'm gonna add, I have like one, three like large cloves. A bunch of little ones, but it amounts to about three big ones. Also, I like a lot of garlic, so if you don't, oops, don't have to go as heavy handed as I have. So, there's one, two, and a handful of little ones here. If I can get them out of the fucking packaging. <laughs> yeah. All right, there they are. Do do do. Pulse, 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 pulse. I'm going to squeeze the juice of a lemon in there. I like my stuff really lemony. You could use the juice of a lemon. You could use lemon zest. I have this lemon. I'm not going to bother zesting it. I'm just going to squeeze the juice in there. All right. Gonna. All right. I'm going to add the nuts. This is, a, this is a half a cup of pecans. Again, half a cup of any nut you choose. Okay. Definitely gonna end up needing more liquid in this. Uh, but until that happens, I'm going to add, and add, you know, a tablespoon of pepper, a teaspoon of salt, I'm going to add about a cup, ultimately, of, actually half a cup of, this is, um, this is <laughs> Go Veggie Vegan Grated Parmesan. I'm going to put, this is a, what is this, a third of a cup? So I'll go two thirds of a cup then. Sort of winging it, can you tell? Wah! All right. So there's one third of a cup of, right? Yeah, one third of a cup of the Go Veggie Bacon parm, and I'm going to go with some nutritional yeast, another third of a cup of that. You could do all nutch, you could do all go veggie, you could use your favorite brand of uh, Follow Your Heart makes an amazing grated par grated parmesan, like in the sh like grated shreds. It's really convincing. It'll be great for this. I don't have any, that's why I'm not using it. Um, all right. Now finally, I have to add the arugula. I have four, I have five ounces of arugula here that I'm going to pack in. The reason I'm making this gnocchi is because one, I love gnocchi, but I've been hearing about this Trader Joe's cauliflower gnocchi. People seem to be raving about it. I have not yet tried it. I don't see any reason to try it from there when I can try to make it here which is what I'm going to do today. Hopefully it will succeed. I'm add 
over the water. Okay, I'm going to add some more. You know, you could probably, you, in order to make this easier to get to blend, you could blanch it. There's a great trick where you blanch the basil, which is just submerge it in boiling water for like a minute and then run it under cold water. If you do that with your basil, it retains a super vibrant green color in the pesto. It would probably be the same thing with this arugula, but I didn't think of it. It's too late now. Here we go. I'm going to scrape that down a bit. Anyway, once I get this all blended up with the water, you know, as much water as I need to make it blend, it's done. That was about three quarters of a cup of water. Okay, that looks good. Okay, so I'm going to set this aside. I'm going to put it in the fridge and until I'm ready to use it. Let the flavors meld a bit. Uh, what I've already done to prepare this recipe is I've already taken one head of cauliflower, one you know good sized head of cauliflower cut it into florets and then baked it in the oven at 400 for about 20-25 minutes to soften it so it will be easier to blend. I went through it. <laughs> I have a, one of my blooper reels. I have a lot of footage of myself trying to um, blend cauliflower in a blender and it, cauliflower being uh, markedly uncooperative. So I roasted it today to see if I could make it a little bit more um, pliable. back with the this cleaned up and the cauliflower in a minute. Okay, I'm back. Here I have this head of cauliflower that has been has been um, roasted. It's cooled off. I'm going to put it in here a little bit at a time. Hopefully it'll cooperate and become mushy. Get in there, you. I don't know if the. I think the Trader Joe's one is vegan. I don't, I don't know for sure. This will be though, and even less naughty than traditional gnocchi made with potato, which I have a recipe for here on this channel. They're so pretty light and puffy and they freeze really well. They're great to have, make a boatload and then freeze a ton and have them when you need them. All right, well that seemed to work out pretty well. All right. All right. That's about the way potato, you know, riced potato looks. All right, that's working out so far. So now I'm just gonna get some flour and some salt and pepper. I guess I should put a little salt and pepper here. No, nah, I'm not gonna actually, I'm gonna leave it naked. You could have actually, if you wanted to, you could spin in a little bit of parsley uh, or basil or some other nice herb into this mi mixture here to have a flavored gnocchi. My potato ones are with uh, minced parsley. But let's go naked on these because we have the pesto to go on top. All right, I'm gonna get some flour, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I'm not going to tell you how much flour to use because that's going to change depending on a lot of factors on how big your head of cauliflower was, how much moisture got cooked out of it, 
that sort of thing. So I'm just going to start. I started with some on the counter, and I'm going to start making a dough. Um, I'm not going to use. I have vegan egg. I don't use vegan egg in the potato one that I make, so I'm going to try to go without using any vegan egg in this one either, because it's hard for some people to get. It feels very wet. Okay, I need some more flour for sure. And I need to clean my hands so I can get a scoop. Okay, I have a scoop. Okay, extra flour there. Feels wetter than the potatoes did. Basically, I'm just going to keep doing this until I have a dough that isn't wet anymore. I bet you could do this in a stand mixer, like a you know a countertop stand mixer. I have one, but it was given to me 25 years ago by a contractor, and it's just it's like an industrial size one. I don't have. You need to make enough food in, to cater a fucking wedding to have the blade even touch the food in the in the bowl. What's a little bit of, I don't know what that is. Get rid of it. All right. Wow. I'm using all-purpose white flour. If you are, I'm not, I don't have a problem with gluten. If you do, there are gluten-free flours that you can just use instead. It's not a big deal. Okay, it's getting close. My hands are very disgusting. Okay. Also, on my website on my blog I have many 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 variations of pesto I have pestos made with spinach made with avocado made with arugula made with uh, collard greens made with all different kinds of nuts some of them might be old enough that they're not vegan but all you got to do is put in fake cheese for it, ask for real cheese and then you've got a vegan version so if, if arugula pesto doesn't appeal to you but an, a different kind of pesto might go to delightful delicious to lovely dot com and then just search for the word pesto, and you'll get a whole bunch of results. All right, this is still wet, but I'm gonna continue doing this, and then I'm gonna roll out some snakes, and I'll be right back. Okay, took a bit of flour to get that done, but now I've got this nice dry ball of dough. So I was gonna get into snakes off camera, but I decided to do it in front of you just to prove that it's easy to do. It's a little wet in the middle, so I still have flour here to roll it out. So all you do is, Roll it into a snake. Need to do. So the way to freeze these things, if you make a like a fuck ton and you don't want to eat them all in one sitting or several days in a row. What you do is you cut them into form your little gnocchi and then you put them on a cooking sheet, put them on some parchment paper on a cooking sheet and put that in the freezer. And once they're frozen, then you can take them out off the sheet and put them in a Ziploc baggie and just bag them in the freezer or whatever way is easiest for you to store them. But you can't put them in the freezer until they're, I mean, you can't put them in a baggie until they're frozen. Otherwise, they'll just turn into a big lump of dough again. And you don't want that. Okay. So I've got a long snake here, and I'm simply going to cut some little gnocchis, like this, one, little pillows, Ooh, they're a little bit wet, roll them in some flour here, put them on a sheet. If you get, want to be fancy, you can roll them on a fork or you can roll them. I have this little thing I got for like four dollars on Amazon. It's a gnocchi roller. You simply just do that and roll it down and you get the little gnocchi marks. The point of that is to help them catch and hold sauce. Totally an unnecessary thing to do. They're totally fine just as little squares, little pillows. They look like little pillows in the shape of pillows. So either down the tines of a fork or down one of these little gnocchi markers or nothing at all. 
And that is it. So I'm going to finish these. And to cook them, you bring some water, salted water, to a rolling boil. The rolling boil is important that it be really going at a full tilt boil. And you just boil them, drop them all in there as much at the same time as you can. And when they all float to the top, they're done. Then, if you heat it up some, heat up some, while those are boiling, heat up the pesto. Toss some pesto with these guys. And you are done. You are done. I don't need to make you watch me do all of them, but that's how it's done. And that is that. That's my recipe for vegan cauliflower gnocchi and arugula, vegan arugula pesto. I'm going to do all the rest of this. I won't make you watch it. It'll be boring for you to watch it, but that is that. Okay, so thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And also please comment uh, in the comments below. It's good for me to hear what you guys think, what you like, what you don't like. If you tried something, if you want me to do something I haven't done yet, all that stuff is uh, it's possible. So I wanted to ask, right? And I, I try to answer everybody who ever makes a comment. I try to respond at least by acknowledging there was a remark made. So let me hear you. And that is that. This is my um, Instagram and Twitter handles. And that's that. Please subscribe. And until next time, bye.